Hey, this is Sam here, and I want to welcome you to our social media marketing content training. You've come to this training probably because you're wondering what it is that you should actually post. Now, there are four parts in particular that I'm going to talk about in this particular training. Number one, social media content definition. Number two, social media content ideas. Number three, social media content examples. And number four, what do I do now? I'm actually gonna go into the six different things that I post as my social media content regularly and then give you the actual examples of what it is that I do so that you can model what I do so you can start getting some traction in your market as well, okay? So let's get stuck into this training. Social media content definition. Now, this is something that I had to look into because it was a little bit confusing. We don't actually know or have a definition for it. So instead, I looked for what content actually meant online. Um, so something, uh, what I found online is that it's something that is to be expressed through some medium as speech, as writing, or any various arts, like a poetic form of adequate to a poetic content. So look, I know that's a little bit confusing, but essentially, content is basically something that you can put out there that people can consume, right? And so in terms of social media, social media content is merely anything you put out that people can consume. So everything that goes out there is actually content, um, which is a good thing and a bad thing. The bad part is that this is a quote that I read once and I wish I could remember who it was because I just laughed when I first heard it and I remembered it stuck with me since then, is that never in the history of mankind have we ever recorded so much useless trivia, right? So what he's trying to say is that this is content that's been put out there, but it is so irrelevant that like we're, we're recording all this stuff through through our digital abilities right and it's really not important like we're talking obviously about people you know posting about the food that they eat and you know are they going to this place or they're going to that place and that's fine you know i do it sometimes too but the 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 quote basically surmises where the the current market is at so don't be afraid if you're thinking man i don't know anything like i don't really know what to post i'm not a you know i'm not an expert or anything man trust me majority of people out there and i'm talking like 95 plus percent of people aren't experts either right so you're a newbie right hold tight and let's get stuck into this so some social media content ideas six different things that i actually post on a regular basis is motivational quotes right so you can do serious ones you can do funny ones but as long as you get your point out there that it's something motivational right now keep in mind guys this is for business and more specifically personal branding i forgot to touch on it a little bit earlier but that's what social media is actually all about a lot of people think that social media is a way of of uh, uh getting customers and trust me yes you will but it's not a place to go and do business right it's a place that you keep it sociable it's a place that you build your personal brand where people People actually go, wow, this guy actually knows what he's talking about in this particular area. This guy knows what he's, this guy's very serious in this particular area. So whatever your market is, that's fine. And that's what you want to kind of centralize what you're doing around. But you do want to keep it personal. You know, you don't post about, hey, you know, like, check out, I just joined Amway. You know, who wants to join with me? Like, seriously, no one likes that sort of shit, right? So keep it away from social media channels, right? Focus on branding yourself, which is where the motivational quotes come in as well. So the four questions are something that I post too, because I like to provoke thought. I like to provoke insight, right? Um, I like to ask a question to the market every single day because I want people to know that I'm uh, that I'm a considerate person, that I think about different things from a, a deep and meaningful perspective because those are the kind of individuals that I want to attract and that I want to work with, right? People who actually sit and think about things and then, you know, take that action, yeah? So value posts. Value posts is something that are, uh, are not utilized by a lot of people, but it is extremely powerful. A, a value post is essentially where you write 150 plus words of a valuable piece of content for anything to do with that particular market, right? And it can be involved around like uh, personal development business you know the niche that you're involved in right you basically want to put some value out there in the market so that people know that wow you know what like um Sam, you know, he put, he always puts out these great posts about, about business stuff. And, you know, I've got a couple of ideas about business. So I'm just going to run it by him, right? And that's where this social media thing comes in. It's not a place to go and market your stuff to sell. It is a, go, a place to go and build your personal brand so that when people are ready to buy, they think about, oh, what about this? Oh, what about my health? I remember this guy, you know, he always talks about health and, you know, his posts about healthy food and healthy smoothies and is exercising. I'll go talk to him. That's how it works. 
right? That's what this is really all about. So this is more of a like mid to long term strategy, if you will. You want to post any successes as well because you want people to associate you with some form of success, right? So, and I'm not saying you know you only post about all the great things that happen on social media. Hell no, like you, you definitely post about um, your your ups and your downs as well. But I would focus more on that in terms of value posts. But when it comes to these uh, success posts. You really kind of want to focus on uh, things that you are you are working towards. You know, like for example, like I'm working towards you know having a 99 kilogram body uh, with 20% body fat, right? And that's a six. Every step that I take towards that particular goal is a success, right? Going to the gym, eating healthily, all that sort of stuff. Now, I'm not saying that uh, I post about you know my meal plan six days, six uh, six times a day about hey, look, this is what I have for breakfast and lunch and dinner and my you know three snacks in between and blah blah blah. No. It's not what I do. I post about, you know, the odd thing here and there about any particular journey. And that involves, you know, um, successes I have with my kids, with my own personal um, battles, uh, my business, anything. It can be anything in terms of success because that's what you want people to associate with you. Okay. Uh, personal hobbies and interests are something that I do like doing, but I don't do a whole hell of a lot of it because you don't want to inundate your, you know, people's uh, timelines with, with your personal interest because it might not necessarily be what they're interested in. But here's the thing you will align, right? And you will, you will attract more people that are uh, passionate about what it is that you do, which makes it easy to connect with them and have a, a, an easy medium and topic and uh, yeah, hobbies and interests that you can actually talk about and connect. Um, and that's what Facebook is, is, uh, sorry, social media is all about is connecting with people, right? That's why building your brand is so important and not trying to sell shit because trying to sell shit is what retail shops do, right? We're not a retail shop. We're trying to connect with people through social media and that so that when they're ready, you're right to be presented or to, you know, think about, you know, creating an extra income or, you know, improving their health or whatever it is that you're involved in. When they think about that particular thing, they think about you, Right, whether it's themselves or their friends, like I've had people reach out to me in the past and go, "Hey, um, I really love the um, the motivational quotes that you that you do, and, and also the, the the value posts." Right? Um, it, would you mind if I get a friend to to add you as to add? the other thing I would talk about as well is family happenings. Now, this is really an optional one because I know it's a it's a bit of a touchy topic, right? Some people are okay with with posting stuff about their family and their loved ones. Uh, other people, not so much, right? I I I personally um, I like putting stuff up about my kids because I have friends and family as well on my on my profiles, and it's a way for them to stay in touch with what's going on as well. But I also want people to know that I am a family person, right? That I'm not all about me. That I'm not all about business. Yes, it's important to me, but so are three or four other things in my life, right? So, for uh, for example, my my relationship with my fiance. You know, my my kids are really important to me. You know, my my health is important to me. My business is important to me, right? So just putting these things out there so that it's ways for you to connect with people. That's all. That's all that really is. It's different ways to present different media for people to consume that are all about you, right? So let's get into the social media content example examples. Uh, this here is number one: the motivational quotes. For example, this is something that I posted um, on. Uh, Instagram. I did post it on Facebook as well, but it went really, really well on Instagram. Uh, but that's because of a particular strategy that I'm following. So as you see here, all it says is stop trying to find shortcuts, just do the work, right? And then it's got my um, my website there, samnuka.com. So it's very, very simple. But if you look down here, you've got 93 likes and 14 comments. And I know there's more, there's more, that more, even more have come through since I've, you know, put together this slide even just an hour ago. Uh, but it just gives you an example of how powerful this can really be. You know, it, it was so powerful that it resonated with 93 people, right? 93 people, right? That's, that's insane in one day. Right, um, and all it is is a is a is a funny but motivational quote. Okay, so that's an example. Another social media content example is uh, thoughtful questions. Right, I talked about this one a little bit earlier on, and that is to ask. Uh, I ask a a, a thoughtful or a uh, thought provoking question on a daily basis. You know, and I try. I put a picture on there. I used to just do text, uh, but that's because I was just on Facebook. Now, and now I'm on Instagram as well. Um, and Instagram always requires photos, right? So I started doing photo texts instead, and they're going great. So here's an example. You know, what are you in service of? You know. That's quite a deep question, and it's a great way that I like to start my day is to ask myself meaningful questions. It kind of sets the precedence for me for how I'm going to take on my day and, and really think about you know meaningful things in life, right? So there's an example of a thoughtful question. 
So the other thing I, I get into is value posts. And value posts is something that I literally have to put time aside on a week by week basis because I, I literally write, you know, somewhere around fifteen hundred to two thousand words, right? In terms of these value posts, I, I typically do like two hundred plus word value posts. Um, basically, what it is, it actually goes into a little bit of detail. It's like a mini blog post, if you will, um, that it actually talks about something specifically that has to do. Uh, with what it is that I'm involved with. So for example, I'll, I'll talk about money. I'll talk about business. I'll talk about, you know, different values and uh, things like that. Anything that's involved in what it is that I actually do to actually put some value out there in the market. Because what will end up happening is, is that this will end up resonating with the right people, right? And then you'll attract the right people to work with you because they'll see you as a person of value. Now, I'm not telling you to fake it, right? What I'm trying to what I'm trying to convey is that this is these are the strategies that I use, right, to really garner the attention that I get. I get it that this is a medium to long term strategy, right? It's not going to make you a thousand dollars tomorrow, right? But that's not what I'm about. I'd rather build now, right? And really live it up later than try and hustle people and annoy the hell out of them, right? This is not prospecting, guys, um, to try and get, you know, a couple of hundred bucks. So if you look at the title here, it's got forget what you want, tell me what you actually do. And then in this blog post here on the side, I actually talk about it in depth, like, you know, about um, it's important to have your wants and desires, but it's more important to actually take action. So it's trying to set that precedence of, you know, if, if you're the kind of person that does take action, I'd love to work with you. That's the unconscious message behind it all, okay? Social media content example uh, of successes. So successes, like I mentioned earlier on, is anything to do with any sort of goal that you have that you're, you're, you're taking a positive step towards. That is a success. So if you look at this um, post here, uh, it's just a post that I put on today and it says first day back after seven weeks. Torn ligament in hand, this should be interesting. Here we go. Hashtag iron therapy, hashtag gym life, hashtag I hope I don't die, right? So guys, don't, don't uh, be scared to throw in your personality. Remember, this is social, right? This is social media. It's like when you go out and you actually meet someone. It's just it's just digital uh, real estate as opposed to physical, right? But you need to put your personality into it, right? Have a laugh, have a joke, you know. Get you know, but be serious about what it is that you're actually doing, so people know that you're the kind of person that they can rely upon and that they can work with moving forward. Okay, so this is this is a success, and it might be it's a very small success, right? My first step, my first day back um, from basically being able to, uh, sorry, about coming back from a, a injury that I have for quite some time that, you know, my first day back at the gym, everyone knows that, I, that, I, that I'm into looking after my health and fitness. And, and so to be able to get back to the gym is a thing that I was really, really looking forward to. Okay. So another social media content example is hobbies and interests. So you see right here, all I said was let's ball baby. It's serious out here. Hashtag be rich. And that was actually supposed to be funny because Brackenridge here in Brisbane is not known as a very serious or dangerous place, right? But, and you can see my face was very serious. I usually take a picture with a big smile when I'm playing basketball because I'm so happy. But um, I, so, I, so I turned it into a bit of a funny one because I realized that I kind of took the wrong picture at that particular time. But you see, it got it got like 15 likes, right? Um, straight away. And it, it didn't even really take that much effort. I, I got even more on Instagram, but I just wanted to show you, you know, mix up some examples between Facebook um, and Instagram, right? So hobbies and interests, you know, whatever it actually is, whether it's the gym, like I showed earlier on, it's possible today, you know, it might be fishing for you, right? It, it might be... Um, uh, bike uh, might be uh, motorcycling yeah it doesn't really matter just show your hobbies and interests because it's going to give off a natural enthusiasm um, that people and people gravitate towards enthusi enthusiasm and if you're if you're posting and I'm not saying post every day you know like about uh, stuff that you're you're interested in your hobbies and all that kind of thing but you know regularly like every two or three days you know post something up you know showing that big old super smile and how happy you are because people will start associating very positively with you as someone who's got energy enthusiasm charisma and it's that's the kind of people that you want to attract and that's the kind of people that people want to work with okay so social media content example the uh, number six, sorry, the, the final one. And this is a family and loved ones. Now you can see here, this is a very simple one. And I posted up study time, you know, love my boys. Um, but for me, you know, like I, I sit down and do study time with my kids every single night. And sometimes it's an activity book, like what you see there, you know, uh, oftentimes we're, we're, we're studying letters, numbers, shapes, colors, um, we'll, we'll do reading and so on and so forth. So there's a number of different things that we do every single day. And I post up about it here and there. I'm just 
just to show people, I show people that I'm a family man, you know, that, that they are really important to me that, hey, I have a business, right? I look after my health, but I also have a family and they're important to me as well because those are the kind of people that I want to track. I get it, right? I get there's, there's guys out there that, you know, they, they talk about, they preach about that 24-7 hustle life, you know, grinding and all that sort of stuff. Don't get me wrong, right? I have that mindset and I can do that stuff too when I need to, right? But I also have a balance to my life because I have a number of different things that are important to me. To me, it's not just about my business at this point in my life. It's about my relationships, you know, and that includes my partner, you know, my parents, my um, my kids, right? It's there's so much more to it, right? It's again, guys, remember you're probably thinking, I mean, what the hell has this got to do with, with with building an online business brand? Remember, this is social media, right? And if I'm talking about brand you, yeah, if you want to go and build a business like McDonald's, that's a different story altogether. But I assure you, they're trying to do these things too, man. You just don't see it, right? Like the clown, for example, is trying to trying to um, attract kids, right? The colors, you know, is they, they portray safety and strength and unity and all that sort of stuff. Look into it. It's very, very interesting stuff. And that's essentially what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to um, use, if you will, utilize, not use, but utilize um, psych- psychological factors in people's um, natural inklings to draw them towards my personal brand, right? So I post up things like when we go on family trips, you know, when we have movie nights, right? When we we go out and have fun, for example, like we might go to the beach or whatever, you know, anything where I, I get an opportunity, you know, to share the love that I have for my kids, I will do that, right? And that's, that's where this, you know, it, it attracts, again, the right people that I want to work with, okay? So, uh, what do you do now? This is the big step, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna urge you to opt in for my course to help you build your internet business. In this particular course, I'm gonna cover the seven step plan to grow an audience and create a hyper engaged email list. Right? It really is all about building that list. The money is in the list, as they say. And whilst that's not entirely accurate, it is true. The more people you have on a list, right, the more money you could potentially make. More importantly, I'm gonna teach you how to make that list a hyper engaged one so that you can actually start making money why am i so big on an email list right is why i tell people to subscribe is because i made my first 1600 plus us dollar sale right with only six people on my email list and if i hadn't gotten them emails i wouldn't have happened right and then i made my next big sale which was 1250 dollars when my list had only had 12 people, right? So that's why email marketing is so important to me. When when uh, seven and eight figure earners, so I'm pe- people to, who make millions and multi-millions, when they say that 80% of their revenue come from email marketing, you best believe that I'm going to listen, right? And even my mentor, who is a seven-figure marketer, um, he as well is forever harping on building the list, build the list, build the list. That's where the money is at, right? And everything we do, social media included, I push people towards opting into my list. So I'm going to urge you to opt into my list so that I can show you exactly how to build this seven-step plan. I'm going to show you my seven-step plan and how to grow an audience and create a hyper-engaged email list, right? And you can do this through the social media training that we just provided, right? And I can show you how to do that as well, all right? So thank you again for stopping by and watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you liked it, give me a like. You know, if you feel like uh, this has any value from someone at all, go ahead and share it. But most importantly, click on the link below and get to that seven-step plan to grow your audience and create a hyper-engaged email list. So take care, and I hope you enjoyed this training. I've got another one coming in a couple of days. I'll talk to you then.